Let's imagine you suddenly discover an unknown continent, and it's pretty warm, has lots of insect life, particularly termites. I can bet you that the chances are very good that you'd discover on it a mammal that ate those termites, and it would have a long, thin nose and a long, sticky tongue and big, strong claws. It's really a truism in zoology that uh, given animals, given the same environments, animals will adapt to them in the same ways. And so we have here, completely unrelated, the South American anteater, and in Australia you have an echidna and, again, unrelated, a numbat. All of them animals that specialize in eating termites, and all of them sharing common characteristics. You see, if you look at the numbat, it's a beautiful little creature with a long nose, a long sticky tongue, and a big feathery tail with which it can cover itself. It also has an interesting striped camouflage. The echidna has a very long narrow snout, a long sticky tongue inside that that flashes in and out to collect termites, and although it doesn't have a, a lot of fur, it does have very strong claws for ripping the termite mounds open. And this character is the South American anteater. And you notice how many characters it has in common. It's got a long nose, a bit like the numbat, even longer, and long and thin like the echidna. Like the echidna too, it has no teeth. It has this amazing long sticky tongue you can see rushing in and out there, hauling termites normally, in this case mincemeat, in and out. And of course, to get at those termites, it has to rip the termite nest apart. And look at these claws that it's using, latching onto my finger here. It's frightened I'm going to take the dish away. But those enormous, great, long claws will tear open a termite's nest in no time at all. And they're very much like the echidna's claws with which it does the same thing. So really, this, I suppose you could say, to look at anyway, is a bit of a blend of echidna and numbat. Of course, zoologically, that's stupid. They're all completely unrelated. But each one of them has been shaped in the same way to deal with the same kind of environment. In this case, catching, uncovering, and eating termites. I want to know Curiosity